What has whisper sound suppression technology and the ability to do this to a P3 gauge? The answer is this Gamma Raptor and Matt with laryngitis. Hey guys. <laughs> Bit of a different video for you today. A little P3 torture test along with a product test unrelated to P3. And that is this Gamo Raptor Whisper. Is that what it is? Something like that? And just like the rifle, Matt has been getting in tune by losing his voice. Yep. And so uh, they both have the Whisper sound suppression technology currently. This thing is a thousand feet per second. I don't know where it says on here. Right here. And it's a 22 caliber air rifle. And we've got this display here with a bad processor that we're going to put through the ringer here. So let's get this slow-mo video ready. And safety first, straight out of the 1980s. Matt's got built-in safety. He's gonna load one up here and we're gonna fire one down range and see what happens. All right, just set up the camera, Matt's ready. We're all safe with our little backstop. Don't try this at home now. Oh, all right, so he just chipped the bottom of the display there. Barely got it. We're gonna aim a little bit higher and see what happens to the glass and bracket. So all of our displays are a 5052 aluminum bracket with a Lexan face. And we're gonna put another round in and see what happens here. Oh, we got some carnage. That's what we wanted. Still functional though, look at that. All right, so wow, that really bent that aluminum pretty badly. The Lexan wants to stay straight. It is not flexible, so it's brittle and it's gonna break, but the aluminum's pretty soft. So we can see this took a, a major hit here and that aluminum bracket has folded back and actually broken. It actually did break at the small parts where the window opening is for the LEDs. Check that out. I'm kind of surprised it didn't go through, but I guess since it's so soft, it just deformed. Almost as impressive as your own whisper silent technology. We're gonna get this set back up because we want a direct hit to the electronics to see what happens. We can even see here that it pushed back the display away from the glass because our button is no longer protruding. Where did the pellet go? <laughs> I have no idea. We've got this backstop here. If you look at old training manuals for air rifles, they actually recommend you do this for like indoor shooting. Matt got this as a late birthday present. We couldn't not test it out and this is like the perfect way to do it. You can see literally the glass is like pressed into the aluminum and it didn't quite penetrate. That's probably generating some heat because it, it has like a curve. It has expanded this metal. All right, let's dig out a pellet. Still going through. Oh, dude, here's one. Look at that guy right there. Let's dig that out. Oh, I don't know. Are these lead pellets to you? They're lead. They're hollow points. Okay, lead hollow points. That's just from going through cardboard. It's pretty deformed. Let's get a comparison to one, a new one real quick. There's a brand new one. You can see it has this little baby hollow point in the middle. And then the back has this like large area. I think that's gonna expand against the sides of the barrel with all that pressure to help seal it. But then that's our, that's our aftermath. That's just from cardboard too. So we don't even know what's happening to it when it goes through. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that did hit the aluminum. Maybe that was your first shot. Glanced off the, the bracket barely and then made it in. Probably. All right, we're set back up for another shot. We've got the Whisper Duo right here. And then we've got Risky Garage. Noah, hang out. This is truly a Risky Garage activity. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh. oh, you can hear stuff flying. <laughs> Dude, dead center. Let's take this thing apart a little bit. So both buttons have ejected. We can tell the whole LED body has broken and folded. Looks like the circuit board might have snapped as well. Yeah, let's take this apart and see what the back looks like. It literally pulled the solder joints through. We hand solder these LEDs all together and the buttons and the tails. So you can see these ones in the middle here. It has literally sucked the solder straight through, ripped it off of the circuit board. That impact, dude, that is so awesome. Look at that bend. It, pulled, it just broke it. It pulled the copper off the back side of the circuit board when it sucked the solder joints. Dude, yeah, I just put, yeah, pulled that whole little insert through. Yeah. Uh, it it might have delaminated the board in the middle too to pull the separate layers apart. It looks like it did. Dude, look at that. That's great. All right, we should get another one of these set up and try it again. Okay. Matt just found this. Look at that. That is intense. So those of you wondering how strong your gauge display is, that's a 22 caliber pellet at a thousand feet per second flattened out from this little guy right here. This little guy took the hit right there. Boom. That's pretty amazing. We're finding the limits of, I think it's an iPhone 11. On the slow-mo, it's only 240. Matt said this does like maybe 900. 
So we got it set up to be triggered if anything in the square moves. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. We're recording and just for control, so you can see what's going on, we have an empty can of brake clean. We're gonna go ahead and take out just so you can see how that goes. All right. That's pretty sweet, this, this self-triggered and self-stopped. But here we go, 22 round, 1,000 feet per second, straight through the can, blew it open in the back. Now let's see what it does to this Mark 7 GTI display. Trigger set up, you know Matt's $1,200 phones just sitting like three inches from the thing. He's got some trust in the gamma, only about 10 rounds through it. Pretty accurate once we got sighted in. Here we go. Ooh, I can hear something bouncing around after that one. Oh, dude, the round just stayed right here. Just absolutely, dude, just turned it inside out. It it's like, like polished. It looks like a diamond. I wonder if it uh, actually like took a layer off the glass or something. Direct hit, it just crushed the LED. Great shot, Matt, great shot. What's that slow-mo look like? It's literally recorded. <laughs> so the super cool Samsung trigger function didn't work quite right, so we got this broken B8 display. We're gonna try this again with me manually starting the video. Here we go, in three, two, one. You can see, you can see the individual. The diodes, <laughs> I've never seen inside one. Hey, that's that whisper suppressor dude, technology taking effect. I sound effect. like Steve-O. I picked the wrong week to stop risking my spinal cord. Dude, what we're finding with the slow-mos is that this is actually too fast to actually pick anything up with just the phones, but we're finding little pieces all over now. A little shrapnel, there's parts of an LED right there, the back side of it. There's a couple of pellets. Look at these pellets, they're just getting absolutely destroyed. You can see the rifling on the skirt. Oh, the that's pellet. so sweet. We're gonna judge this successful Gamo Raptor. Awesome little rifle. P3 gauges, awesome little gauge. And uh, they are going to hang tough for you, even when they're getting shot. Maybe not quite. They're not 22 caliber rated, but they are rated to be pretty tough for you in your car. We're having fun making these videos. We've got a few other ideas on how to torture test these. What do you wanna see happen to a P3 gauge as a torture test? Let us know in the comments below. We've got some broken parts laying around we can test out and uh, CJ wants to see some more happen. He's the woo guy, it's kind of weird, but anyway. We got Silent Matt, yep. Silent Gamo. I don't know where I was going with that. But anyways, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I picked the wrong week to stop risking my spinal cord.